Hello, this is Mr. Knowles, and this instructional video focuses on our Unit 5 review of operating with fractions and whole numbers. So this review will help you study for your upcoming test that you might have. There is a worksheet that complements this. If you can't find it on my webpage, I can print one off for you at school. So let's get started. Operating with fractions and whole numbers review worksheet. Directions. Use numbers, words, and a labeled sketch to solve each problem. You may use graph paper or other paper to draw your labeled sketch. So number one. John shared two-thirds of a pizza with two friends. What fraction of the entire pizza did each of the three get? All right. So what I've been trying to model in class is to draw, I really recommend rectangles. So I'm going to draw a rectangle. And there was, it's in thirds, so I'm going to break it up into three pieces. And there's two thirds. And then just kind of look back up there. What fraction of the entire pizza did each of the three get? So there's three of them. So the what I've been trying to model for everybody in class is go the opposite direction when you cut it into three equal parts. So it's broken up into three equal parts. There's three friends. So each friend is going to get two of these sections. And it's two out of how many in the entire thing? Well, it looks like there was there's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two ninths is what each friend is going to get. Mathematically, what you did is you did two thirds divided by three equals two ninths. So each one, each friend, gets two ninths of the original entire pizza. Two. It takes Mr. Knowles a third a cup of flour to make a batch of waffles. Mr. Knowles has five cups of flour. How many batches of waffles can Mr. Knowles make? All right, a third of a cup, and I have five total cups. So again, let's think about this. I have five cups, so I'm just going to again draw rectangles. I have five whole cups, so I'm going to make five rectangles. And we know that one-third will make a batch of waffles, so I'm going to break them up into thirds. And every third, I'm going to get a batch of waffles. So there's one, two, three batches, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. I can get 15 batches of waffles. Mathematically, what you're doing is you're taking the number 5 and you're dividing it by 1 third. And you're getting 15 batches of waffles. Go to the next one. <clears throat> Sue had one eighth of a pack of paper. She divided the pack equally among three friends. What fraction of the pack of paper did each friend get? All right. So again, I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to make a skinny one. 
and I'm going to divide it into eighths. So usually eighths, I cut it in half first, and then I cut both halves in half, and then I cut all those in half. This is a nice trick for you at home. And there should be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Sue has one eighth left, so I'll shade that up here. That's one eighth. And she's going to share this among three friends. So we're going to cut that into three parts. So going the opposite direction, cut it into three equal parts. I'll just put a three up here. I don't know if you can see that or not. So each friend is going to get this amount right here. Of the original pack, how much is that? Well, this is one of the entire pack. How much is that? Well, it's 3 by 8. 3 times 8 is 24. It's 1 24th. 1 24th. Mathematically, what you're doing with that is 1 8th divided by 3 is 1 24th. Joe's dog Rex got into the kitchen last night. Rex saw three-fourths of a meatloaf still in the pan. He ate half of the meatloaf that was there before Joe stopped him. Bad dog. What part of the meatloaf was still left? All right. So there's this pan of meatloaf. And the dog saw three-fourths still in the pan. So I'm going to, again, draw a rectangle. I'm going to break it up into fourths. And three-fourths were left. He ate half of the meatloaf that was there before Joe stopped him. So I'm going to, oops, I should probably label that three-fourths. Half, cutting it in half, what part of the meatloaf was still left? So Joe caught him, and he ate half of the three-fourths. Remember what of means? I hope you do, because that might help you with the math part later. So this amount was left, and then the dog ate the other part. Well, three out of what originally did it look like? There's eight there, three eighths. All right, mathematically, you're saying what's half of three fourths? Half of three-fourths is the same as half times three-fourths. It's three-eighths. Your answer is three-eighths. Number five. Mr. Knowles is painting the bookshelves in his classroom. It takes two-thirds of a quart of paint to paint each bookshelf. There are nine bookshelves in his classroom. How many quarts of paint will Mr. Knowles need to paint all the bookshelves? I'm going to do something a little different here. Well, that's a bookshelf. And two-thirds of a quart of paint will paint that. 
I'm going to paint another bookshelf. And two thirds of a quarter paint paints that. And there's another bookshelf. And two thirds of a quarter paint paint that. There's another bookshelf. And two thirds of a coat of paint will cover that. There's another bookshelf. And two thirds of a coat of paint will paint that. You getting the idea? shrink this down a little bit so I have five there so I need four more I was running out of room so I would do this nine times right one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, it's repeated addition, correct? So mathematically, what you're doing is two thirds times nine, and some of you know how to solve that mathematically. If you're not certain, well, you need nine two-thirds. So you're going to need to think of a quarter paint and a quarter paint in thirds. And every two-thirds is a shelf. So there's one shelf. I'm going to just do a tally over here. Do a different color. Here's another shelf because I can get a third from that can and get a third from that can. There's another shelf. There's another shelf. And I would continue this. There's another shelf. And just make tallies. Looks like I'm going to need more paint. All right. There's another shelf. Five. Got five shelves so far. There's another shelf. There's six. There's another shelf. There's seven, and how many shelves? Nine shelves? Might need another can of paint. Think of it in thirds. And here's another shelf. <laughs> Eight. And one, I can paint one more shelf, because there's two thirds there. Nine. So I have all my shelves painted. I have nine shelves. How many cans of paint did I use? Better use the highlighter. There's one. There's two cans. Three, four, five, six. Six cans of paint. Six cans of paint were needed. That's the visual model. <clears throat> Mathematically, if I go back to that mathematical problem I had over here, some of you know how to do that. You just take two thirds times nine over one, like that, because nine over one is the same as nine, and multiply the top. Two times nine is eighteen. Multiply the bottom numbers, the de denominators. 3 times 1 is 3. 
And you got one more step. You have 18 thirds. Well, what is 18 thirds? 18 thirds is the same as, it's a little division problem, is 18 divided by 3. How many 3's go into 18? 6 do. So your answer is 6. 6 cans of paint. One more problem. I hope you have it in you, because this is a little longer video than I was expecting. Miss York is going to build a raised garden bed to plant flowers in. The bed will be half a meter wide and four and a quarter meters long. What will the area of the raised bed be when it is finished? All right. I'm just going to draw this out. There's one meter, two, three, four, four meters. And then I need a little bit, like a quarter of a meter. So I'm just going to guess. That's one quarter. And then I need to show half. Half will be about this long. This will be half a meter. And now I'm just going to kind of sketch that. It's going to be a long, skinny garden. Well, this is a half. This is a half. This is a half. And this is a half. So together, these two make one whole. And together, these two make one whole. So this and this together gives me two square meters so far. That's what area is. The tricky part is this one right here. This little bit is half times one-fourth. Well, you can solve that mathematically. 1 times 1 on the top is 1. And 2 times 4 on the bottom is 8. So this little bit is 1 eighth. And then you'd add that to your 2 square meters. So your answer is 2 and 1 eighth. meters squared. That's one way to do it. There are some other ways to do it, but I believe that would be helpful to you. And I hope this has been helpful. The whole thing's been helpful to you. If you have any questions, please ask.